fill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is four years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England. Presenting the challenger, Mark Montcrusher Casey. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. The last style bender, Adesanya! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a fight. Ready. advantage like this, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. It's okay, you're fine. Let's recompose and let's get going now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Good punch land. Just over three minutes to go. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Jacasey. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard. Every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Thank you. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Let's get some points. Let's oh, get beautiful strike point. there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game. Not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. So 
and just over 20 total strikes have now landed. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Just out of range with that left hook. Beautiful kick. Plus right hand is true. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Jacase. Nice punch lands over the top. Ten seconds to go. Body. Oh! Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Kick to the body by Jacasey. Unable to connect there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Jacasey's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here. Oh, he like that left hand. He's got him right here. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Blocks the shot. Jacasey's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Out of range with that one. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh! Landed a big kick there. Just unable to quite find that range. 15 seconds. Big punch land. more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? 
Great. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. His hands are down. High kick. Big kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Adesanya's shot is blocked. Working out of that southpaw stance. Back to orthodox. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world is ready. Bender Israel Adesanya, and he gets another UFC win here tonight. And he has really been critical of his past performances inside the octagon, but a whole lot to like out of this effort here tonight. Going to be interesting to hear how Adesanya felt about what he was able to accomplish inside this arena tonight.